Hello YouTube, this is SonicTKK here, and welcome back to another Python tutorial. Uh, before we begin, I just think that you should all see my awesome background. Look at this background. Yes, I I love it. I think it's just awesome. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to another Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about classes a little bit. Classes are a very, very, very important part of programming in general. And uh, it's something that you're going to be using a lot. And it's something that can be a little confusing at first to some people. But some people then may just pick it up like it was something that they pick up easy. <laughs> um, but classes are basically things that you can define in Python that are like objects. Like you would have uh, an aim and object and then you would have a function inside the aim and object to say hello, to eat dinner, to go out for a walk, to sleep, to drink, etc. And it's basically another, It's let me just show you what it is. But one thing I should note, what I should say to you is that any function, because you can put variables and methods, or variables and functions inside classes, and when a function is in a class, it's called a method. Uh, but you can still call it a function, but just know that that's not uh, correct, but, uh, you know, who's going to stop you from calling it that? But anyway, to make a class, what you do is you say class, and let's call this Doge object. I'm gonna go over this in a second. Uh, uh, say stuff print when you learn much wow yeah oh why am I running oh because stuff and let's change our build system to python Those that say stuff. Oh. Well, so as you can see here, it says such class many learn much awesome. Wow, because this class is called Doge, or is it's pronounced Doge, I believe. And if you don't know, Doge is a an internet meme. It's a fairly new one, and it's quite awesome and I like it. You don't have to understand what Doge is because you don't have to call it Doge. But uh, basically, such something, many something, much something, and then you have to put wow at the end, usually. That's basically how it works. Google it on Urban, Dic Urban Dictionary and you'll understand it more. But enough talking, let's explain what this is, what this class is, what a class, how, th how this all works. So here, up here we say class, and this is like putting def in for a function, except this tells Python that you're making a class. So whenever you put class in, Python's like, oh, so you're making a class. Well, what do you want to call your class? And here we want to call our class D-O-D-E, Doge. And then you can give it parentheses if you want. You can give it this uh, quote argument. This is what's known as a uh, subclass. This is this is like a, a superclass and this is it, the subclass, so this is subclassing this class. You don't have to understand what that means right now, but basically, if you put a, another class, if you have another class up here called uh, meme, and you put meme in here, anything that the meme class has, the this class here will get. It will get all its functions or methods, since they're class functions, and uh, variables etc it'll get everything that that meme class has uh, if you don't understand that right now don't worry i'll be covering that more in the next coming up up next upcoming tutorials but for now just know that you should always in 
in 3.3 or in yeah 3.3 you don't have to do this but in 2.7 you should always subclass object or get all the methods of object so after that you put your colon in just like you would in a function and then you put your for space indents in because this tells python that excuse me you're making a block of code so you're indenting for a new block of code that's uh, a method so in this block of code we're defining the uh, method or function like i said a function instead of class is called a method and then we take another block of code we take another indent because this is a separate block of code for the function or method remember each block for each block that you define you need to take an indent we print such class many learn much also wow this backslash n is what's known as an escape character and there are many of these there are backslash t backslash n etc but the main one that you may want to focus on is backslash n and this basically means new line so whenever in a string or piece of text when python sees black backslash n it'll say oh instead of you wanting me to print this out i know that this means take a new line so we will print such class and then take a new line and then say many learn take a new line print much awesome take a new line and say wow this saves us having to write such class and then ending that print statement and then putting in another print statement or printing something again we can just do it all in one line and it makes it so much handier and then that's that's uh, us finished in our class so we go back to our normal block of code with no indent because this is still a block of code but since it's uh, our first block of code we don't need an indent and then here we say doge equals doge with parentheses and what this does is it makes a new instance of doge whenever we do whenever we say uh, doge with the capital D which is our class name and then do the parentheses it's like calling a function except it returns a class object or a class instance and that is just basically a version of that class that is in a variable so we're basically making another class and storing it in here and then so this returns a class this returns the doge class into a variable this basically puts the doge class into a variable and we can access everything inside the doge class with the doge object which basically means say stuff we can now access with doge and then we say here doge dot say stuff to access anything in a class using our object we have to use a, a dot we have to use a period a full stop and then the value we want to access and here we want to access the say stuff uh, value what we can also say is we can say def make and print name self i'll go over what self means in a second we will say self.x equals 10 print x and we'll say do dot make and print name global name x is not defined oh self .x. and then here it says 10 so we already know why it says such class many learn much awesome wow because we're calling the stay stuff method but here it says 10 and that's because we made a new method up here called make and print name and we say self.x equals 10 print self.x now what does this mean well first of all why do we have to put print in it as the first argument in all of our methods well that is because whenever you call a method using an ob an object uh, it pass it automatically passes in the doge object it automatically passes in uh, the doge object that we have as a parameter as an argument and it just needs to do that it, it has to and that is why we can say doge dot say stuff and the reason we need self here is because this is referred to as self within python well self references this doge class so whenever we say self dot x equals 10 we're making a variable for the doge class called 
uh, x and that means we can access it with those that say stuff so when we say self dot x equals self dot x equals 10 that's saying okay we're going to make a variable that is part of the doge class called x and we're going to set it equal to the value 10 then we're going to print our own x but if we had x equals 10 here and we say print x in fact no let's call this y for the sake of example and we'll make this 20 then that is 20. if we try to go down here and print self.x and that's that x doge.x we can do that if we try to print doge.y it will say doge has no attribute y if we do this we can't even do that so whenever you say self.x it means this is going to be a variable used by uh this is going to be a variable that is part of the doge class but when we just say y equals 20 we're just defining a normal variable inside the doge class that we cannot access anywhere else now if you if you define a variable inside a method or a function then it's what's known as a local variable and it can only be accessed within that function now you may be thinking well maybe that's why we cannot access access the y value but that is not the case if we go here in here i'll say the little name y is not defined because you know even though we like, print it out here we actually can't so you just if you want to be able to access a variable later in a function or in a in a class if you want to have so you have a player class and you want his you want him to have a name then you would need to say self.name equals whatever you want the name to be. You can't say name equals whatever because then it will not be part of the class and it will just be a regular variable. And then you can't access the player's name later on. Maybe that would have been a better example, but this is Doge and you know Doge. Um, yeah, so that doesn't work. You can't uh, access values like that. You have to use the self keyword, which basically self refers to this class and any instances and that's why you put in self here because you know you need self because self is everything so um yeah that's it for this tutorial hopefully you understood it if there's anything you would like me to clear up please leave a comment and i will help do so to try and help you just remember to always so class object if you're running 2.7 if you're in python version 3 you do not need to do this but uh, hopefully this helped you. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe for more Python tutorials. Share it with any of your friends that might be interested in learning how to program in Python or might even find this tutorial useful in general. Uh, thanks for watching. My name is Sonic2KK and I will see you in the next tutorial.